tough morning is going to continue now because we're 10 minutes into the show. We're, I'm going to tell you about another shooting, this time in Florida. So there's a TV reporter, a nine-year-old girl, uh, and a, an adult woman, all dead after a shooting spree in central Florida. And there are ties to Philadelphia in this, there are. Thomas. Isn't this quite something, shooting after shooting after shooting here? So let's take you through this latest one. Police say the shooting spree it began at about 11 o'clock yesterday morning. The suspect here, 19-year-old Keith Melvin Moses, first shot and killed a 20-year-old woman earlier that day. And that's when news crews, they were sent to cover the scene, the investigation. The suspect returned to the scene five hours later and shot at a photographer and reporter from Spectrum News 13. Police say the suspect then went to a nearby home, shot a mother and her nine-year-old daughter. So you talk about the Philadelphia ties here. The reporter Dylan Lyons, he was born and raised in Philadelphia, just 24 years old, just recently got engaged as well. His photographer, Jesse Walden, right now in critical condition, he underwent surgery overnight and is communicating with loved ones. It became very emotional for reporters in Orlando at competing stations like Luana Munez covering this story. I apologize. This is really difficult uh, to cover. Um, it is very emotional here uh, at ORMC. I'm, I'm not even going to turn the camera um, because there are people here um, who knew that reporter who uh, his fiance uh, and I were just embracing. Um, but I, I will say this. It is nice to see all the media. We come together in solidarity in this moment. You can certainly understand the raw emotions there, as with most television markets. Most of us know each other. They hang out uh, with one another. So very emotional down there in Orlando. Dylan's fiance also took to social media to express her grief. She wrote, quote, the love of my life was murdered. I will never be the same person ever again. Please help my family and I during this time. There is a GoFundMe set up uh, by the family to help raise uh, funeral cost expenses here. The goal is $25,000. We'll have a link to our website as well. The suspect, Mike and Alex, currently facing multiple murder charges. Investigators still searching for a motive into the shooting. Yeah. All right, Thomas. Yeah, it's just horrible. <clears throat>